What is going on guys? It's Jack here with Adventures with BG and I want to do a quick little bladder review. So Jared and I have 10 billion thousand bladders and there's 10,000 billion bladders on the market out there and most people who know what a bladder is and, and when you say bladder think of tried and true Camelback. Name brand you can't go wrong if you get a Camelback. Now they're not my favorite, especially not anymore, because they have all of the cool features. You know, locky doohicker, mouth body doohicker, top lid doohicker, uh, down here clippy offy doohicker. So you can actually just connect that. And I assume for cleaning, I don't really know what else it would be used for. Uh, maybe it's re reinstalling a new tube. But, uh, first world problem here is I cannot stand this closing mechanism. I, I don't, I can never do it. I don't know if it's just me and I'm a big old derp, which is probably true. Regular people can probably do it fine, but I never get it right. It always takes me a good ten minutes to get that sucker on there. So I've kind of started to move away from these. And then now they're starting to come on with these fancy new top fillers. And I got two of them tangled up here. Let's see if I can get this open. Top fillers. Not only do you get more water in it, because with this sucker, you know, you never really get it all the way full because it's at a like weird angle. But uh, I got top filler here, and uh, this top filler, my favorite. Now, I have multiple Camelbacks. I've got like a three liter, and uh, I think that's a, like a one and a half or something. But um, top fillers are my jam nowadays the few times I go outside because I live in Texas and it's hot but so I got this Axe TM uh, I think out of one of our boxes uh, a, a while ago and it has you know similar fancy I like the bite bite part better um, both of these have the same bite part the bite nipple whatever you call it whereas this has the Camelbacks are generally like the split which I'm not a big fan of I don't know I just think these work better in my little brain and what sucks about this one which it's, they got a good idea going but it doesn't have the clippy doohicker here it I've had it actually just oh, as you saw it, that came off really easy and I've actually had that happen in a pack which is no go when you're doing that and it's like halfway down I mean that's kind of cool I guess I guess it's easier to get in and out of a pack but not when that thing comes off so easy because I got little baby chicken arms and I can pull that off so that's not good and I like I like the closing mechanism so you you clip it shut you clamp it and you twist these little doohickers down like that and I got little little nubbins that um click into place and lock it but unfortunately, I've already broke one of them off, so this, this one side doesn't close very well anymore. I, I, I just, I don't know if I just did it wrong, but I feel like it should be pretty... Oh, there it goes. I broke the other side. <laughs> so, you know, other than that, I like this a lot. This one just is not getting a good review from me, unfortunately. They had the right idea. I like this hard thing. It gives you something to grab onto. It gives you something so, like, if you lay on your pack or something, there's a little less on your bladder. But, I mean, even with that, I still had that tube pull out, unfortunately. So, I, I really just... The, the heart is in the right spot, but I that's, didn't execute it very well. Now, so far to my favorite, probably because it's stupid proof, and that's what I need, is the... It's this guy. Hydra Pack. I'm digging this guy a lot. So, same thing as the Camelback. Clicky Do Hicker down here. No Clicky Do Hicker in the middle. It's got a similar bite as the uh, the Axe. The locking system is kind of silly, but I don't really use a locking system. It's like a twist instead of a like a flick. It's like twist it around and it's kind of dumb but other than that I don't really use it but mouth open 
which is nice. And so up here, it's like rubber, but you fold it over. You just do a fold over once. And you slide this sucker on the rails. Like so. And it's got a little butt, uh, piece so it doesn't come off. It's got a little string so it doesn't, you don't lose it. Because I always take the strings off of stuff like this, but I figured that um, I really don't need to lose this. Yeah. But this sucker is secure. Like, I think I was stepping on it at one point to see if I could get it to pop open. Not, I mean, I didn't step on it hard because I don't want to break it. Because, you know, it is just, you know, a bladder. But it sucker held up good. I think I took this one to Big Ben. I think this is the one I used at Big Ben. And it worked out well. That was seven days, give or take. Big fan of the top. So definitely, big fan of this one. I don't remember how much this cost. I think I'm pretty sure we got it in one of our boxes. It's all the fun, BPA free, B PVC free, if you're into that. Uh, I'm a big dum dum, so I don't really care about that stuff. But this is number one, 10 out of 10. And of course, camel bags, 8 out of 10. And then Axe over here is, unfortunately, like a 5 out of 10. They're in the right place, but you should definitely check one of these guys out. If I remember, because my big old brain is not good, I'll try and put descriptions and stuff down in the. Uh, down in the description of the descriptions. So thanks a lot guys, we really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to join us on our next adventure.